there are a lot of annoying things in Minecraft. And in this video, I'm going to show you what a day in Minecraft would look like if the annoying things happen to you all the time. All of those things are something that have annoyed me and hopefully I am not the only one. So let's say you start your Minecraft morning all nice, going out for a walk and harvesting some crops, but accidentally click the spacebar and break a crop that was halfway grown. Now you'll have to go back, find a hoe, replant the crop and wait for it to grow up. I hate that. Okay, so you go back to your house, but right as you reach it, you hear something behind you. And of course, there was a creeper who just blew up. Great, an extra entrance. Nonetheless, you get some dirt and fix the mess. But now you gotta wait until the grass grows back. So that's great. I would rather watch the paint dry than watch the Minecraft grass to spread. Oh, and the windows, I gotta fix them too. But I am out of sand. So you go to the nearest desert, and right as you start getting some sand, a ton of it just falls down, making you drop into the ravine, and giving you a mini heart attack. This really is annoying. You finally get out of the hole, go back home, smelt your glass, but placing back the glass panes can be a pain, since they are so small, and misplacing them without the silk touch pickaxe, is not a great idea. Now let's go visit the village and see if any of the villagers want to offer us some good trades. A few moments later. But as usual, they are trying to scam us. I have a better idea though. If you wanna steal some stuff from them instead, you can just easily take your axe and they don't even mind unless this big guy jumps in front and you accidentally give him a right hook with your rusty iron axe. Oh no, now you gotta run for your life or fight a guy double the size of you. I will choose the first one and take off and fly back home as fast as possible. Or that's what you thought. I guess someone forgot to repair their wings after the last flying session. Now you are just trapped here with your broken elytra and no home nearby. Time to take the boat and go home. And what's even more fun than being next to the ocean and getting hit by huge forks left and right? It's the drowned, doing you a nice bit of damage and you can't even see them properly. I really love it. You get back home since it's getting kinda late and what's a better time to go mining than at night when there's nothing else to do on the ground anyway. You start to head into the mine and you notice this. I bet we all have this one friend who builds stairs like this, hurting your heads on each and every step. So you finally manage to get down with a headache. And you start the search for diamonds. At the exact moment you manage to find some of those shiny and precious stones, the first one drops to the lava below. Great. Now you cover up the lava, but then there appears to be only one more diamond ore. So you found diamonds, but managed to get the lowest possible amount. That's annoying. Also when mining with a big gun and a fast pickaxe, you can easily get trapped under the gravel. You manage to escape the suffocation and continue with the mining. Many mine blocks later, you have come a long way from home. But I bet we have all forgotten to check our tools durability at some point, and then this happens. Your last precious enchanted pickaxe breaks into thousands of pieces. This is just sad. After this highly successful mining trip, let's clear the inventory from all the crap we got. Throwing away the stuff we don't want to keep... Oh no. Anyway, let's prepare ourselves for a journey in the nether. Time to craft some items. Oh, crafting. This is something where we have done a lot of mistakes and learned the hard way. Like in our crafting a hundred thousand gold blocks video or just playing every day. You wanna make some iron blocks, but instead you make an inventory full of chest plates. What am I supposed to do with all of these now? It's starting to get dark again, so you head your way to the nether portal. On the way there, you notice your two favorite mobs. The baby zombie, who is so fast and just annoying to hit, and the enderman. I swear I never even look at their eyes, but they still get triggered. So you are forced to fight those and make your way to the nether. As you enter the nether, you need to dig through some nether rack walls. But this can be dangerous since you never know when a random lava spot may appear buried in the nether rack above. 
and the lava flows so fast in the nether that it's even hard to escape sometimes. So I highly suggest grabbing a fire resistant potion for the nether journey. And what about the skeletons that now exist in the nether? When they are running, their accuracy is like a top tier sniper, they never miss a shot, especially on the hard mode. And while you are trying to dodge the bullets from the first sniper, another one is after you, located in the nether sky, shooting you with his fireballs. How annoying is that? And one of the funniest things to do is to hit the zombie fight piglin and then just run. Watch the whole community come together, how cute. All of them running towards you for a warm hug. Back in the overworld, let's take a look at some, yes exactly, some more annoying things that have happened to me. Including the wandering trader just spawning somewhere I definitely don't want him to spawn. While building some farms, the most annoying things are when your game or server lags and the block goes to the wrong place or just can't be placed down at all. But when dealing with redstone and water, you gotta be really careful. One misclick on a slab and instead of slab being waterlogged, it all just may flow down and ruin your redstone. Or what about being somewhere far away from home, so you have your bed with you. And while being close to the bed, a creeper blows up you and your bed. This means that instead of spawning near your bed, you will instead spawn at the word center. How annoying is that? And since it's night time, now you get attacked by phantoms, my least favorite mob in the game. Why did people even vote for it to be added in the game is a mystery to me. Although let's not talk about silverfish, I hate those too. Even the bats are more useful than those small things. But to make your annoying Minecraft life a bit more colorful, you place a painting on your wall. Or at least you want to do so. But each time it comes with a wrong size painting or just a plain boring one. Quick tip, place some blocks right in the size you want your painting to be and fixed. Call me the Schalker tips from now on. But let's be honest, most of the time playing Minecraft is fun and there are almost infinite amount of things you can do or build in this game. We have played it for many years ourselves and still enjoy doing cool builds, just like our last video where we built a huge melon farm inside of another melon. You should check it out and thanks for watching, see ya!